Hey guys, so I bought this humachar for my garden. It's made by the Andersons out of Ohio. It's a 50% mix of biochar and 50% humic acid. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what this stuff looks like. So this is a granulated product here. And again, it's 50% biochar, 50% humic acid. So what does that mean exactly? So biochar is just charcoal and you can actually make it yourself. So there's several different ways to do it, but it's basically turning wood or other types of materials into charcoal. So it basically leaves the carbon content and burns off everything else. Now, before you add charcoal to your garden, you wanna add it with all sorts of nutrients and things like that. And you wanna break it down into smaller pieces in order to have a greater surface area for all the microorganisms that you're providing little homes for. So that's really the big benefit of biochar. You're getting rid of that compacted soil. So you're providing little microscopic um, space for all of the beneficial biology uh, that's living in your soil that's gonna help your plants grow more healthy. So this humichar actually uses coconut husks to make the biochar. And the thing is, is you don't want to just add charcoal by itself because uh, it's empty, meaning it'll pull nutrients away from your soil um, in the short term, and then in the long term, it will you know, release those nutrients. But that's, I suspect, that's why they blended this with the humic acid. So you can see here, the humic acid is derived from uh, leonardite, which I looked it up, and basically it's su supposedly like ancient organic material that has you know, solidified over time. So it's basically providing nutrients and fuel for the biochar and for all the microorganisms to, and your plants to feed from those uh, nutrients in the short term. And then the biochar ends up being a permanent amendment to your soil that provides all of those benefits that I mentioned earlier. So you can use this humichar on grass, trees, shrubs, gardens, um, and soil itself. So you don't have to till this up. So you can actually just spread this using like a, a fertilizer or, or seed spreader and kind of broadcast because it's, you know, it's very, it spreads really easily. So you can just uh, sprinkle that around um, to add to existing, you know, turf. Or if you are starting a new garden, you can mix this in to your compost or your soil, and, you know, after tilling and till it in. So either way, it's beneficial. And here's a chart showing kind of the coverage. So one to four pounds per thousand square feet. Uh, is what you what you kind of want to go for. But you really can't overdo it with this stuff. It's not going to harm anything if you put too much. Um, they do recommend just watering it after, and it's got uh, pretty much an indefinite uh, shelf life. All right, guys, so that's an overview of Humachar by the Andersons.